everybody welcome super bowl sunday we're really excited here we're gonna do a quick drink for super bowl uh this is a classic it's a uh, moscow mule we call it the denver mule right we had a little denver mule thing going on right yes denver mule. so um now super bowl mule super bowl mule cold whatever you like you want to go out for a pass ready go <laughs> No, uh, that's not a pass. That's like a screenplay. That's like a two two yard screenplay. Come on. Anyway, all right, we'll do that later. All right, so we're gonna make a Moscow Mule. You got your copper mug. I got some really nice heavy gauge copper mugs. Uh, the thing about copper mugs is that they hold the uh, the, the cold, right? <clears throat> so um, it doesn't really transfer uh, the the cold out of the glass or or the mug, right? So. I've got one packed with ice already, and that's really the, the best way to do it. Now, these are 16 ounces, very deceiving, right? So, Pretty you know, big. yeah, it's a big drink. So that's why we pack it with ice. So if we do like a two ounce pour, this is a long drink, right? You don't wanna be pounding these down. It's just a lot. Um, we've got our ginger beer. We have our, our um, limes, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna squeeze some limes in. We're gonna add a little bit of felony vodka probably about two ounces here, right? So this is packed with ice. You wanna leave it all in there. We're gonna roll this, all right? Wanna get started? Yes. All right, so copper mug, really important. These are pretty cool. I really like these a lot. All right, so no distracting, no ball playing in the house, all right? I know you had a lot of brothers, I did too. And what happens when you play ball in the house? Something gets broken. Something gets broken, <laughs> right. So we're not gonna do any of that right now, right? right? Okay, right. cool. All right, so I got a little Bundaberg. Uh, Bundaberg is one of my favorites. I like Fever Tree, uh, there's Cock and Bull. Um, there are a bunch of good ones out there. Q makes a good mm -hmm. product. Um, and there are some, uh, some pre-made um, uh, ginger beer with lime in it. Um, I forget the name of the one that, uh, that uh, High Five Liquors turned us on to, Garrett. Uh, we'll come back to you, uh, to you on that one, but uh, Garrett, thanks for that. Uh, High Five Liquors up in uh, Federal Heights, right? So let's get started. We're gonna, we're gonna start out with uh, two ounces of felony, right? Come on. This is the... So we're gonna go two ounces here. That's a pretty strong drink, right? So measure it out, not gonna hurt you. Um, I know we're gonna go right for the lime because I wanna pour the um, ginger beer. I'm gonna put a, about a quarter to a third of a lime in there and I'm gonna leave the, uh, the, the lime in there. So I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna pour it right into the mug here, right? And then we'll mix it up by rolling it, okay? So like I said, this is pretty deceiving. We don't wanna shake this because you're, you know, you'll, you just, make the effervescence of the ginger beer go flat, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't want to shake our, our sparkling type drink. So we're going to roll it. We're going to pour it into a mug, right? And then we're going to pour it back, right? So got that going, and we're going to gently pour it back in, all right? And we got the lime there and a little bit of ice. We've got some thick Straws, you like a green one? Yes. All right. So that's going to go in there, right? And we're going to get these back in. I like to keep them in there. It'll start to uh, to infuse in there as you drink, if you don't drink it too fast. And then you can garnish it. Like some people like to use mint in here. I don't mind the mint at all, but um, I, I choose not to use it. I think this is rich enough. But, uh, and it is a magnificent drink, just a classic. If you like ginger, it's an awesome drink, all right? So listen, guys. It looks amazing. Yeah, it does look good. Um, let's see. Oh, that's really good. I love ginger. I, the spicier, the better for me, so uh -huh. um, I definitely like it. Get some fresh limes. Um, you can use lime juice if you want, but nothing like fresh fruit, right? right. So uh, who do you think is going to win? Nice jersey, by the way. Let's see. What's... Felony, 80 proof, <laughs> organic. Love it. Good job. 
right, now, ready? I, I love both teams. I love Cincinnati and I love Los Angeles, so I don't That's care who lame. wins. Come on, you don't even know. You haven't even watched one of their games. Be honest. Have you watched one Cincinnati game? No, but I like the city. All right. So that's where Which Geraldo's from. Who do you from, want right? to win? You know what? I don't have a dog in this fight. Um, I really, I was, I was rooting for Buffalo. Um, I spent a little time in Buffalo. Got family in Buffalo, and um, so I really wanted them to win. And it's you know, and then Tampa Bay. You know, as much as Tom Brady gave us fits at Buffalo and the Jets, I kind of wanted him to to win too. So my team's out. And then of course. KC, I just thought they were going to run over everyone. And, um, you know, Mahomes is incredibly talented, and he just could not pull it off. So here we go. But it's kind of cool to see other teams making it to the Super Bowl, right? It's not right. the same old yes. team, right? And who do, you think, who, who do you think is going to win? Who do I think is going to win? I have no idea. How's that? <laughs> okay, well, let <laughs> us know in the comments who you think is going to win and if you made this drink. Yep. And uh, it's a perfect Super Bowl drink. Yeah, it's felony meal. Amazing. Hey, everybody, have a great day. Yeah, get those Bye. wings going, a little pizza, maybe some chili. See you later.